These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between Top Esports and Weibo. Wave crashes in, so 369 is going to be putting down a ward. A he late. has now used his ward, and Weibo do not... Well, Taz is completely off vision. Yeah, the hook shot into the Pillar of Flame makes this a very scary position. 4369, a flash for the Seer means first blood to breathes Camille. So, we were talking about Jungle CS, Three it's a win. Job of roaming with Mako, getting into the enemy jungle, yeah. trying to get some of those camps away from Tarzan, who was tried at the trade back by at least impacting lanes, but it is still coming at the cost of his own well-being. He's a very deadly champion, particularly two item Camille is where that champion goes nuclear, really. But we need to see now from, uh, from Weibo, Remember, Mako still doesn't have a flash, could be in serious danger here. Now the damage comes on for the Eclipse Shield is solid. Jackie now in danger as well, has to flash away because there is no cleanse. Another Winter's Bite lands, the turnaround is good, but the door, phenomenal! Stops so much of the bullet time damage, a flash on in from Tarzan, ensures a wait! Misfortune still gets a kill on the way out. Jackie buying his life in blood. The shield was fantastic from Crisp, I thought Crisp would outplay, but he still gets taken down into the watery depths of Bilgewater, Misfortune claiming that one. Jackalove will be up and with the scrub will be able to get towards the lane fairly quickly, but still, I think overall a win for Weibo. They might be able to get themselves a couple of minions. Dying to tower, Breathe needs to be careful here, delays himself that ah. hook shot. Strangle thorns afterwards though means surely a dead Breathe as well. He'll be breathing no more. The Hexic ultimatum is solid though, but it's an execute because of course Breathe had no damage on the Zyra. One of my biggest complaints of Zyra jungles is why people Got a 1v3 with Tien at the top of our screen will be coming on down here as well. This Camille about to be under attack again. Arrow coming, coming on down. down. Is that going to be accurate? It's going right the way down the river. It's following Xiaohu as well. Breeds alone down here. It Miss misses. But here comes Xiaohu all the same. Has flash, has ult, and Mako danger. is out of this team's radius. Teleport coming on through. It'll be a one versus four now. Breathe still in danger. Shahu nearly here. Wants to get something back. Gets a fate sealed with that soul and bound to allow a ping back. But the roots are pretty huge. Shahu gets Mako. Turret shots coming in to fly on through with Shahu though. Tanking up the minions. Ensure the top esports pick up a second in trade for just the one. And that's going to be like three waves lost to turret. Especially with the bullet time coming through to clear out the wave. Weibo have just lost a huge play on this side. Breathe, who was meant to be the win condition for Weibo, has been put behind him. You know, Top Esports, they lost a great series to BLG, they lost the series to um, LNG as well, and it felt like, uh, you know, what Turret people- taken Top Esports is a very impressive number, they have mm. not dropped a lot of games this year. Uh, well, that's just from Summer, so for me, that's actually quite a bad stat, because they've won so many games, the fact that they end up losing wow. any in general is something, the arrow's gonna go wide again, Tarzan misses his stun, looking for a smite still, but he's rooted. Big turnaround there, and my god, the Zyra damage with the bullet time over the top is just foul. Mako traded back to the Glacial Prison. Sorry, Glacial Fisher lands onto Jacula, but he will still be going to the Prison of Death. In comes Camille from downtown as well, and Top Esports on the extraction. Lose two, at least Tien gets one back, but is rooted under turret and will surely fall as well. The raid boss, no breathe! Good slow, the E slow and the red buff do enough to keep Tien alive. Tien, 5-1-1, one, and, one, and Weibo, maybe they wish that Top Esports hadn't watered that house planet quite as much. It is deadly. Oh, we might get ourselves another fight around this Herald too. Ooh, four versus five as well. Three, three, six, nine was just top lane on the Cassante, getting another turret, so gets value out of that. It looks a bit messy, but the extended play still under Bokeh is Jackie now stepping on forwards. Crisp in danger, could well be going down as the all-out comes on down onto the Braum, Santa Braum. Put on his own naughty list. That was a really nice play from 369. Flashes for the ult as the Braum stun comes through, so he doesn't get sit, like isolated ben in the front. House fire. Haven't seen these arrows get the value that way, but once Xiaohu has Q3, can potentially go in here. Yes, Finds it. Cream. Oh no, Cream was thinking he was safe, but managed to Valkyrie over the wall. Xiaohu though can still trade back. We'll be able to get some more damage coming back as he pings back and pulls the flash out of Cream. Who knows? It could have gotten pretty ugly there with the blade moving in. Mako is now in danger himself. Tarzan throws out the pillar of flame, but a knockup prevents Dracula from getting that much value out of the bullet time. Trying to trade back on the line, the 1v2, but there's just not far enough to go. Puts on the afterburners, but light brings him down. Bow and arrow beats guns. Tien finally falls, will be brought low eventually, but claiming that huge shutdown is big, big news for life. Reserve yeah. bait us all, and Tien gets to yeah. walk away. I think if Weibo wanted to pull, pull that fight, they would have teleported. Now, Shao, who is teleporting to the sideline. Look, again, it's not sold point. Breeze is going forward, so he can opt forwards here, all out, not going to bring here. the ultimatum. Fate Seal still lands, trying to get the damage to the 3 doesn't have to resist anymore and goes down. So this is why earlier I was saying, I feel like the scrappy gameplay is going to continue. There's no sold point, there's no huge advantage just yet. Top Esports, they're ahead in terms of gold, but Weibo, they're playing towards 1-3-1. They say, okay, take the dragon, we're still open. left alone in bot side, so the teleport should be coming through. Here comes the arrow. 
Arrow lands, will hit onto one, not the most valuable target though, it's still very dark, and down a half HP, this might actually just end up being the Baron take, they're way too late, Tarzan flashes out of the bullet time, Baron secured, look at the fight afterwards, though can top finish up what they started, Mako low but not down, Tarzan eviscerated, in the back line goes Shaohu though, alongside Breathe, the double solo lander trying to get something back as the Corky is dead, Breathe trying to run away but there's just not enough breath in the lungs, Light trading on out, doing his best he can to claim 369, but it's still top esports with the overall victory. Baron secured on three. That is exactly what that could be. They still have so much damage though. We saw what happened when Weibo couldn't get the lockdown. You can see that Weibo, they have to give this up. Now the problem is, this is the problem with Safari League of Legends. You watch the objective go down and maybe you could have had a cross map by moving across the map. Maybe it's full tower taken, so that'll be even more gold coming over. And now the problem is, if you are sieging as top esports now, and what's the problem? Hang on. Breathe. Oh, it's a pick in the jungle. Chris will get to hop away, stay alive, solar flare afterwards. Still not enough to keep him alive, just burns down to the ignite. Does it? He just ends up, ends up just completely eating every bit of damage that Top Esports can throw at him. Wait, but it's so hard to go into this group unit of Top Esports. And they managed to get themselves an important kill. The Baron's not even up, but just the siege and range of this team is going to make it so hard to defend this turret now. Yeah, what was looking... A very even game. Very much isn't anymore the cohort of Top Esports here and sieging. It'd be very difficult to break through that phalanx up beyond the parapet synth of this one. That's the arrow coming through. It's not great, but they don't have the brawn for the full up CC, and Tarzan has burned out the half HP just by the thermal thorns. Jackie Love is getting very low though. Shout out to the backline, can't quite get onto valuable members. The stopwatch comes on through the TN. 369 buys some space, and actually the burn on the top esports over the extended fight proving pretty damn obnoxious. Another pillar of fire into the hog shoulder 369, not quite going down the wall. Comes on up. Hextech ultimate puts Mako in a dangerous position. The Zenith Blade. Takes him into the abyss. And another kill for Camille. Shao, who has flash, but he doesn't have Q3 and he doesn't have his ult. He's just going to eat forwards and that's going to be it. They're going to try and stop some of these recalls. And again, this is why Wait, we so view... That you're going to eat a lot of that poke. The dragon is going down very, very quickly. We're seeing Breed. more Safari League of Legends. Breed's going oh, in. Jackie Love. It's a shoot moment. The arrow landed onto the cream as well. That'll be danger onto the Corky. Trying to stay alive, but they lose. The Camille. The damage back just not there in time. Shao is only here now. Infernal Soul claimed by Top Esports. And Weibo think they have the flank, they get both AD carry CC'd, and the damage just doesn't follow up. Fate sealed is only Shaohu's own. And they keep fighting on, 369 does burn down, Tarzan does have Something. the damage. He's done 6,000 damage already, but it is not enough. Top Esports, the arrival of the objective you first. finding yourself sorely disappointed. They are here to play, and Weibo, despite their own level the fact up, is that Top Esports just don't have... Um, they're just not threatened enough on the back line. Shaohu is even spotted going over the wall here, and the all-out brings him back over. Shaohu couldn't get to that fight in time. He didn't have that global. Weibo weren't there in time as a full unit to make this fight any closer. You'd think it was a bit of a bridge cream. He throws out one much damage and just takes down Light alongside himself going down. So it's going to be a kill on some... Oh, one of the first kill of the game, by the way, cream. Uh, still like do some damage and Chris very low there throws out the glacial fissure in the background goes breathe flash away from Jackie might not be enough to save a life but the strangle thorns is absolutely ridiculous and Jackie just stands and delivers with a little assistance from his team top esports have the gods of peel on their side 369 and TN throw out their ultimates and save their AD carry can't quite get the damage. The teleport available. Top Esports might have overpushed in this one, but again, they have so many ultimates to peel for them. It's really hard for Weibo to get the damage down. There is no to keep our eyes on this one. Inhibitor now about to be sieged, but we see that teleport fall. I think Weibo just saying, look, we can't do this right now. We lose this, we'll, we lose this fight, the game is over. They decide against taking once or the twice, and even then, it's been hard to follow up. We haven't seen a combo between Shaohu and Breed all coming together at once, and the bullet time in Trey puts Tarzan out of a 10% HP. Has to flash away, tries to turn around with the Pillar of Flame, and a Pyroclasm still available. Fate sealed away from Shaohu again. Breathe down into the GA, 369 flashing on out. Breathe tries to get one back at the end of it all, but already the peel is there for 369 this time. There and is, he stays alive. There is always another peel tool for top esports in Weibo. They're throwing themselves, but they're just getting dashed against the rocks. Three in hips down, 369 teleporting in with a full HP bar. No Camille this time, Weibo falling. I'll oh, bring him into the kitchen and smell the citrus. I've never seen more peeled. Vegetables and fruits in my life. Weibo Gaming, chopped to pieces. 
and Top Esports clean up a phenomenal team fight game. For those of you wondering whether Top Esports had met their demise in summer, you are sorely mistaken. Through the game, the Karma is here to give you some level one priority to make sure that the Callista Renata doesn't get an easy push in and start down that one first. Blown, everything else working out okay. So 369 blowing that uh, flash. Tarzan coming back again though. For that regank, he's just gonna be here as 369 puts down the wall, but it could already be too late. Can't quite get in range at all just now. 369 though still being burned down and the slow is just enough. First blood to the rumble. So we said the big trade-off for Weibo was you lock in that rumble. Nothing is fair against rumble nope. right now. This champion just destroys lanes. We're Harpoon, Tien is here, and Crisp and Light so okay. very low. So the level three, they don't have a heal, they have the cleanse of the ignite, they're gonna spot out Tien here. They will have that level three, which means they have the bailout, means it's not easy to get this. Oh, just dies before we can use it, never mind. Light in danger now as well. That's that passive from Tien stacking on him, but will not be brought down. Kill uh, the, in the last box. pick of the draft. Um, ends up being a bit of a proton torpedo into Weibo's draft. That karma has really, really ruined the win conditions of Weibo's early game. They're going to have to scrap their way through it. We have this is going to be a level 6 rumble coming down towards these grubs. You might see a fight right now coming through. Tien takes one of them, jumps backwards. Tarzan already used that W, which means it won't be available. Long cooldown at that first rank. Second one goes down. No fight coming just yet. 369 gets the slicing maelstrom down. Breathe. Chunk low, but not down quite yet. Tien may be forced to get out of the pit. Fails the flash over the wall. Doesn't have an assault right now. With the W there, means Tien is stuck in the pit and falls down. One kill over to Weibo in this extended play to match that one on the top side earlier. It's still going to be two grobs to the side of Tien. I'm surprised that Weibo couldn't get themselves a cleaner fight around that, but Tien manages to get himself um, a pro play a at points. Is that when you have to play the on hit version of the cluster, whether that was the old Blade Hurricane build in the past or the Blade and the Terminus and Rage Blade build as it is currently. If you don't have the stats, you have to still go very low range and you can't dance away from everything. As it stands, they're getting ganked again. Gonna try and get some damage back as Chris chunked very low. Nowhere really to go. He's got the bailout zombies. So they just turn on to Light, who just about survives for a second or two longer. The bailout comes on through regardless, and Jackie gets both. Master class from Top Esports bot lane. The draft has worked, the level one has worked, and the continuation to kill the bailouts onto the Renata. They don't have to focus them, they put the damage onto the Callista instead. Chris goes down, and sadly, this Callista Renata is now down in a 2v2. More than 2,500 gold between the Ezreal and the Karma. That's just gone up to 3,500 gold lead as a 2v2 between both the Ezreal and the Karma. It's so rough to see. And again, this was a lane that was drafted for Weibo Game to get pressure and attack bot. Tarzan, understandably, in some ways, decided, look, I'd rather go top lane after we didn't really find an angle early, but. It's come at such an insane cost, and the value back just hasn't been there. Crisp walks over Ward, 369 is in danger, don't get me wrong, but how much value are you getting here all the while? I really feel like this needs to work out. The ult comes oh through, boy. that's a lot of damage onto Tarzan. It will be the kill. Oh Crisp no. goes down. No, not quite. Not quite. Thought he would Tien. do. Tien has himself that ultimate, could potentially look for a jump over the wall as Jackie and Mako are rotating topside, but no kill back. That is bare minimum for what Weibo need. Cream is still hitting the outer turret in mid lane, though, as this happens. Tarzan is there, just allowing Shahu to get out of dodge for now. But Tien and Mako could look to go forwards here. Shield on top speeds Tien up briefly, but they won't pull the trigger. They're happy to give up that one kill. So the cream nearly here. Over. Get the wall stun. Jumps on in, gets the double knock up with the keeper's vote, but Mako stays alive. Another turn round damage begins to come on through. The hostile takeover is short. Not going to be useful. Tarzan dead to rights. Light stunned up. Goes down again this game. The bailout does not keep him alive. Crisp in danger. Goes down as well. Mako only falls now as Shao, who has to. Valkyrie forwards to get him. Grubs have spawned. Top esports are there. Jackie looks for a snipe that's. Not gonna land no, anything. Jackie gets more plates. This mid lane turret under siege. No herald required. And that's before 40 oh, minutes. So the value is huge. This gold lead is ballooning to monstrous. Well, oh, do you remember that, that, that era of season 8, season 9, when Conqueror was one of the most busted runes we'd ever so seen. Strong. And you had junglers who were better than, who were stronger than solo laners because they could just like kill you at level 3, level 4. Like that I, would. I want to see a few more of those mid laners back. 369 potentially has a teleport angle here if he wants to come looking for this Herald. Uh, the Observer's like, look, they can really look for this and they know it's coming on in. Here come the rest of Top Esports. Shahu backing away. The Ultimate Ultra comes on through from Rumble, but already Poppy has been deleted. 369 with Flash. Could look for a Slicing Maelstrom. This just not required. It doesn't even get involved with the kill. 
But they get out, they lose two, and they're gonna lose the Herald too. Look, folks, if you're losing control of the map at 15 minutes and getting flank teleported on from within your own jungle, there is a huge issue. The top esports, you know, they've gotten um, every single objective on the map besides one grub. They're gonna they get lost that bot lane. I think that thing's fell apart. I have to say now, on retrospect, whether Tarzan should have still tried to hard for focus bot. When you have the Ezreal Karma, you have that Glyst Renato, it is obvious whoever gets there as a jungler first and gets to flip that lane is going to make a mess of things. Jackie Love win and make win that level one, Tien comes down first and the game falls apart. I think trusting the Callista Ronaldo to survive against that lane is a bit of fool's hope. Yeah, and doing it by itself when you've drafted for influence from the jungle just hasn't happened. I feel like in some ways you had to trust Breathe to win the lane by himself and in fairness, he's been a win condition in some ways. He's the only part of the team that is ahead and is still very scary. It's just look at the leads literally everywhere else. Even the look in mid lane yeah. was just hopped away even, from casually by Cream. Even, okay, I mean, Cream's Tristana, this is one of the other things you gave up for this. Uh, the last pick of the Karma, I think, actually ends up winning the draft because it, 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 yeah. it was incredible. I think that Mako's, Mako's flexibility on display there, uh, a man of a thousand games plus, actually. Um, is, is has completely ruined this game with the versatility. There is going to be an objective bounty. There's going to be a teleport. Tarzan here too. Tarzan on the flank. Going to get onto someone's key. Forces the screen to flash away. The equalizer comes on through, but only really chunks out Mako. The heal comes on down and into the back line. The damage is huge. The Pokeball is summoned to try and keep the support alive. This and is 4v5. Low. There's no cannon here. And this is a 4v5. Top East will end up winning out through that one. The wall stun didn't come through, and therefore the... Again, Weibo, that was a lot of the remaining ammunition they had. They don't have those flashes and teleports now. It was a limited chance. Anyway, Mako gets the root over the wall of the Tartan. He's frozen up. The True Shot Barrage does so much damage at this point of the game. You can see the statistical analysis there. Um, I think it might be a little higher than that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yeah, what is Top Esports piloting this composition? Yeah. It's a little bit higher than that. So Turret also going to be forced in as well. Baron hasn't even spawned yet. They, this is how dominant it is. The Baron's not even spawned. Wayber, they're trying to get some objective bounties. They got one in the top lane out of turret. They get another one in the bot lane out of turret just now. That is something back, but it is not nearly enough. Top Esports, they have themselves the Sidwani ultimate coming up soon. Ooh, that and that one. is big bong one, sorry. Gets the extend, extended blast to your range as well. They don't have that rumble equalizer now. The only goal on their team has gone to breathe. And he can't even get himself that team winning ultimate. He's using it for wave clip. Weibo have been outclassed. Oh, Hugely so. No. And of course, now with that ultimate coming through, there is defender's advantage for Weibo where they can go through and regen from the base plate. But given how much poke has come through, it might not even save their inhibitors. Jackie Love is here um, just whacking around that turret. Misses the spell flux on this as well. Maybe he's trying to catch out light beyond that, but he has enough anyway beyond that point. One inhibitor fallen at 19 and a half minutes. Another one open beyond this point. There is a teleport from Breathe. He has a flash, but he might have been spotted. Oh, he was. He's on a control ward too. It's a known quantity in Breathe with no Zonyas. Really in a great position necessarily to full on face tank. No Rift uh -huh. Maker or anything like that. They'll lose the Skull Crab here as well. And instead they just turn onto the Rumble who flashes away. Does land that Electro Harpoon. Tarzan missing with the Keeper's Verdict. Could still prove a little bit problematic here as Cream steps on forwards. Remember, Kennen not here. Still, this is still a 4v4. Teleport now flying on through. Shadow is tugged out. Bite that true shot barrage. Cream still alive, still healthy, still dangerous. Chris gets the bailout as Tarzan chunked out by a slicing Maelstrom. Light is snuffed. And Breathe falls as well, breathing his last. The inhibitors are exposed, Baron's alive, and they've got their choice of the litter in terms of what they go towards. And uh, not even Man, the five grubs, sole point coming on through. It feels like a game that is 10 minutes later than it is, purely off the lead. It's a 12,000 gold lead, it's only just gone 21 minutes. I mean, they're getting more than 500 gold lead. Sort of Jackie Love, Lord Almighty, he's three items, it's only an item on light. He is a one item Callista. On the other side, Jackie is about to be able to 1v9 this, his cream. Gets jumped on by Tarzan, but gets a buffer over the wall. Still has Buster Shot available, flashes out of the Equalizer, does eventually go down, but all the while, their base is being broken apart. And now you don't have the Equalizer either. If you have the Equalizer, you can look for a big AoE team fight. There are three barrowed up super minion waves. Weibo, you catch Cream, oh, but at no. what cost? Yeah, finally, I understand going for dessert first. The problem is you've got to deal with the meat of the matter. And that is Jackie Love. That is the rest of Top Esports who are quite happy to have a three course meal named Weibo Gaming. They have been feasting all game long, with the exception of poor old 3x69 who's been on a diet. But maybe, just maybe, he's allowed to have a little bit of something at the end as a, just a treat to end up this series. Top Esports have taken no prisoners this game. No sign of remorse. They are back on board. Their first series win at the Rumble stage. Top Esports maybe. 
Oh, these were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between Top Esports and Weibo. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.